Hi, fourth graders. Today we are going to work on some math, and I'm so excited that you're here to do it with me. We are going to focus on multiplication today. So you should have received this packet from your teacher. And if you turn to the first page, you will see some multiplication problems. Now, I've already done one because I was practicing as well, but I would like to show you how to work one, through one of these. So I would love if you picked the strategy of your choice. We have area model, we have distributive property, whatever strategy works best for you. I'm going to do area model today because it's what I'm most comfortable with. So you can see that I've already done one area model, so I'm going to do the one underneath it. When we start with area model, we always draw our rectangle. And after we've drawn our rectangle, we look at our numbers and we break them down into place value. So my largest number is 3,589 and the smallest one is 3. So I'm going to break down 3,589 into place values. The value of the 3 is 3,000. The value of the 5 is 500. Value of the 8 is 80. And the value of the 9 is 9. We're multiplying it by three ones. And I draw a little line in my rectangle to separate each, each section. So starting with the greatest place value, three times 3,000 is 9,000. Three times 500, 1,500. Three times 80, 240. Three times nine, 27. And then I'm going to take each one of those products and add them together to get my final product. So my final product for this multiplication equation is 10,767. Now, like I said, you can choose whatever strategy works best for you, whether it be area model, partial products, distributive property, or the standard algorithm. You can choose a strategy that works best for you to complete the rest of these equations. And I'm excited to see you when we come back with some more multiplication. 